Hello, let's have a look at how to use the elliptical marquee tool for selection. Uh, the place to find it is up here. Normally you might see the rectangular tool. It's very similar to the rectangular tool, but you right click on this, whatever it's showing, and click on the elliptical marquee tool. Then what we do is you simply click and drag, and notice it's not starting from the middle. This is starting from the it's like a corner imagine this was a square and it's where the the corner is that's where it starts from and see where the mouse is now it's outside the circle so you get a workout where to put it and so you can move it around and get any shape you want if you hold down the shift key it turns into a circle so we can do circular things perfectly well there there we go so let's have a quick play with this if i control and zoom into this I'd like to say select this window and the way to get to the corner for this is imagine this line going up here and this line going across here so and you could put in guidelines if you wanted to do this then I'm going to select here click and drag down here until this kind of fits the edge of that that'll do I can go up a bit here so I can just change the shape of it by going up and down and there you go it hasn't fitted this side but that's not a problem because we have add on up here so I go up from here and across from there and I'll draw a rectangle down there and see I can just pull this in here it is overlapping and it's there you go it's selected that round there and I can fill in the rest of that window now here by right clicking on this select the freehand selection tool make sure I've got the polygonal tool selected there and add of course then I click one down to the corner click down to the other corner click and then double click up here to finish it off and there we go we've selected that window quite neatly so let's get rid of that. Let's see the whole screen again. And uh, let's try something quite interesting with this. It's something you can do very, very easily, which is to make a vignette. So for our vignette, let's make sure we've got the elliptical marquee tool. Go pretty much up into the corner here. Um, seems rather a long way to go, but that's actually we'll see why in a moment we'll drag all the way down to here and this is going to be in, include our vignette area and we go then select and invert pixel selection so now we've got this area out here what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a new layer so add pixel layer so we're going to put the vignette on here the selection you can do at any time by the way because it appears on all layers so now what we're going to do here is hit Q for quick mask and then we can see the area here the outside area is selected and the red area is not but we'd like to blur the edge of this this is why we are going to you know we started off right in the corner to push this to the edge because it's going to blur inwards from here so a way to do this is with filters blur and oops where we go gaussian blur so we're blurring this let's pick up the tool thing here so we can we can play up and down here with the blur that we want and if it's if the blur is not enough we can actually click in here and add an, it more so let's double that up to 200 here you go even more blur so let's just apply that and so now when we queue for quick mask again turn it off uh, it's gone back to where it is but we know that the actual area selected is is different it's got a blur on it so what that means then is if we select the flood fill tool make sure we got black selected over here for colors and then click within that out area selected there we go see 
it has now filled that area in there but with a fade in as we need with a vignette so we can get rid of, this, of the selection control D and we can also because we've got this on a separate layer we can change the opacity so we can turn this down and it becomes a bit more subtle so if you want a nice gentle subtle then often the best place for a vignette is just sort of hardly noticeable unless you're doing something particularly sort of artistic and, and harsh so there we go there's a vignette as well quite easily done with the elliptical selection tool thanks for watching